Hi, David Burroughs. He's the president of Barometer Capital. We'll take another swing at it. David, let's talk about the Bank of Canada leaving interest rates unchanged. No surprise there, but it seems, again, at least in this country, interest rates will remain lower for longer. What does that do for your own outlook of the Canadian economy and, of course, the market? Well, certainly across the globe, central bankers are, are singing from the same song sheet. Uh, there are real concerns about the ongoing health of this economic recovery. Uh, and one of the tools they're using is keeping interest rates low. Unfortunately, you know, based on uh, some real risk aversion, uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of demand to borrow money, uh, certainly to put into, uh, into additional capacity. So, yes, interest rates are staying lower longer. Probably that's a very good thing for folks looking at mortgages uh, and probably helpful for the housing industry. Uh, but uh, it appears at this point still to be a bit of pushing on a string. And it might be helpful, as you said, for homeowners, maybe those people who do want to take out loans, although there aren't that many, it seems. What does it do for your view of the equity markets, uh, lower, longer? I think certainly uh, the big beneficiary is something that's important to us, and that's yield-oriented investments, and not specifically fixed income, but uh, alternative income investments. Uh, about half the money that we manage is in an income strategy that invests in things like uh, uh, real estate investment trusts, midstream energy assets that pay a big yield, corporate bonds, things that pay you some kind of premium yield above what a fixed income return is. What the, what the central bankers are saying is we're going to let you assume that you'll make a 0% rate of return on fixed income, uh, and so you can make an educated decision as to how much risk you're willing to take on to get additional return. So what that's doing is it's forcing investor dollars, both institutional and private investor dollars, into things that pay a yield. Uh, in the case of a corporate bond, a high yield bond may pay five or six hundred basis points or five or six percent better than a sovereign bond. Uh, and if you can find the right uh, company to invest in, it gives you opportunity. So one of the big risks in income investing is that rates go higher. If you can take that risk off the table, it helps people to take some action. Okay, so what do you need to see before you begin to move farther out on that, uh, that risk branch? What's the catalyst? So, Is it Europe? So certainly, certainly over the course of the last two months, investors have been adjusting their expectations for the risks that they perceive, one being obviously sovereign bond risks in Europe, uh, second economic recovery. <clears throat> and, and by our measures, uh, certainly the market has corrected a long way. We look at some breadth models that, that look at the percentage of companies within the market are doing well. We've got to extreme oversold levels. In the very short run, we're retesting the lows that were set in August, and that's important. We do think, though, should they be able to hold these lows, probably you get a rally through the fall as, again, the policymakers kick some of these macro issues down the road. Uh, but there is still extreme risk aversion in the market, and you have to be very targeted in things with lots of visibility. So we do like uh, utilities. We do like real estate investment trusts, things that pay us. We do like some of the energy companies that pay a big yield. Uh, we do like corporate bonds, and we are making purchases in those areas. But I think you have to avoid some big parts of the market because there's still big questions around financials, big questions around industrials, big questions around transports uh, with the weaker economic figures. All right, David, great to hear from you this morning. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Thanks for having me. David Burroughs, president of Barometer Capital. When we come back, the markets are going to be uh, just...